Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're looking at Zentangle and as I mentioned before you can google Zentangle on the internet. And following on from the last um, video where we used black and white we're just going to use a pop of colour. You might also at this stage think about looking at the color wheel you can find the color wheel on the internet and actually keeping that picture on your desktop or on your phone or printing it out now this exercise you can decide how you want to do it what i've done and this is an extension exercise so for those of you who want to do extended work then you can do this. What I've done is chosen, you can choose uh, three to four different colors and I didn't want the colors to touch each other. So once I've done a color, if it touches, I change to another color and then I change to another color. So. To begin with, what I did, I made a template of a spoon and I drew around it on the page several times, overlapping each other, as you can see here. So I think I drew around it about five or six times, or more, maybe 10. And then what I did, I drew diagonal lines across the page, can you see, to divide the page up. And you can draw these lines anyhow you wish across all of the drawings of the spoon. And then in each section I added my Zentangle patterns, making sure that not one pattern touches another. So in each section, I try to vary and change the patterns as well as the colors. And I'll just show you how that looks. So it looks like that. This is a very good idea to do because it um, leads on from the work that we did previously. So you can see how your work has progressed and moved on from black and white to colour. So I'll just show you the black and white one that we did um, before. Just to recap. Do you remember this one? Okay, so it actually does lend itself quite nicely. So there's the black and white one and here's the colour one. And the examiner, when they're looking at your work, will appreciate the continuity of idea and how you've developed your idea from black and white pencil to using colour. For this, I used felt-tip pens. But you can decide if you want to use paint. But I felt that the paint, um, the water from the paint might leak onto the black ink and spoil it. So you need to think about very carefully the tools and equipment that you are using for each piece of work that I give you to do. Okay, bye.